Hey guys, MB Prepper here. Another quick gear review. This time on the Outdoor Products half liter or 500 ml plastic water bottle, BPA free and all that good stuff. Available from your favorite store, Walmart. And well, it's not your favorite store. It's still a decent store no matter what you guys complain about. Good prices. A lot of people can't do better. Anyhow, love this bottle. Very cheap. Um, about three bucks a piece, give or take. I got two of these with a kit that I bought a while back that had the bottles and all in a pack with it. Two bottles. I've used this bottle a fair amount. Reasonably thick plastic, BPA free. Very inexpensive. Generally, they'll run you about three bucks a piece. Let me go ahead and give a little shout out to Pavement Pirate, who's just starting out making vids, and he made a vid of this reason recently. And I went, wow, I've got one of those. Why haven't I talked about it? So check his channel out. He's just getting started like I did a few months back. So check him out, subscribe. Tell him to make more videos. That's what I tell him all the time. Anyway, Outdoor Products little bottle here. 500 mLs. Nice graduated markings here on the back side. Like that a lot, especially if I'm trying to decide how much water I need for some kind of cooking application out in the field. Now, I can't boil on this or whatnot, don't need to. I tend to carry a plastic bottle and a metal one, you know, just because I do. I don't know why. I like the, in, you know, the incremental markings on the back of this style bottle a lot better for measuring things out if I need to measure things out for cooking. I like having this option for boiling in if I need to. Well, not that one, but one very similar to that. Just had it laying around. So, very lightweight. Three bucks a piece. Comes in a lot of colors. I've only got the blue ones because that's what my little pack kit came with. I think they come in a lot of other colors. Check Pavement Pirate. He had four or five of them on his review that he showed. Come in brighter colors and whatnot. Whatever you want. Um, mine did not come with carabiners. I, from what he said, the standard ones do come with carabiners. Mine never did. I don't know if somebody just took them off, but whatever. Um, nice little screw top here on the top. Going to secure things nicely. He had some concerns about the uh, little attachment here coming off easily from the top if it's weighted down. Uh, I've not had that problem, but it's not the way I've used it. One thing I do like about this is a little sipper on the inside. Don't know if you can see that there. Pull it out with your thumb to fill the thing or clean it. Very nice. This thing is wet because I had water in it recently because I carry this around. That little thing is nice for keeping this thing from spilling over and dumping all your water. Got a nice big opening in it. About, well, it's got to be over two inches there. Um, you got this thing sitting up and you tap and to tap it and it falls over. You're going to lose most of your water in a darn hurry. A real ridiculous hurry. And then you're going to be mad because most of your water is spilling out on the ground. This little sipper is not a bad little addition if you can see it right there. Basically it just comes in and snaps in, you know, very lightly, but if you drop this thing over, it's going to spill the water much, much slower and you can pick it up. Again, also, you're not going to dump water on your face or down the front of your shirt. Look like an idiot. And as Pavement Pirate said, and I didn't think about it, if you have ice in the bottle, and if you like to ice your bottles, it's going to work fine for keeping the ice from slapping you in the face or falling out or screwing up the flow of water or whatever. So that little thing right there pops out fairly easily. But it's reasonably secure if you fit down in there fairly tight. It's not going to be a big problem. Um, again, limitations plastic bottles. You can't boil in them. But they are lightweight. And this was quite sturdy. This is a nice competitor. Well, I don't know if it's a competitor. But a low-cost option compared to a Nalgene bottle. Uh, I don't have problems with Nalgene bottles. But for the price, I'd rather have something metal. For three bucks, I can have a stash of these for cheap. Whatever color I want. Um, give them to friends, whatever. If they're hiking out in the woods or hiking out in wherever land with me and they don't have something with them. This is probably a better option overall for just a day hike, something like that. You get a nice wide opening on it. Attach a carabiner here. Just be careful if you're opening it with weight on it as it may pop loose. And I'm not going to do that, but check Pavement Pirates videos. That little sipper, like I said, I kind of like that. That's, that's not a bad addition. I kind of wish maybe somebody had that in an option for the steel bottles or the aluminum bottles. Anyway, outdoor products, Walmart brand. Yeah, you can bad mouth me if you want to. But for three bucks, this is durable. This should take quite the beating overall. It's going to do the job. What more can you say for three bucks? It's going to be fine. Andy Prepper, out.